Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I wanted to sit down and film another packaging video, which I've done a couple of these in the past and you guys really seem to love them. Excuse the mess behind me because my office is absolutely disgusting, but you guys have been leaving so many comments asking for more of these types of videos, so I'm here to make one. If you don't know who I am, my name is Taylor and I run Boardwalk Beads, which is this business right here. I have a bunch of videos about my business, so if you want to know more about that, you can go check those out. This video basically is just going to be me running you guys through how I package, what I do. It's pretty simple, not much to it. I know you guys love watching it, so let me know if you want more of these types of videos down in the comments because I could sit here and film these for hours and make a whole series on packaging. But it might get kind of repetitive, so we'll see. So this is my office, which as you can tell, is kind of um, a big mess right now. This used to be my bedroom actually, but I switched rooms because I needed extra space. So this is all my stock right now. And then on top of that, I got these desks over here. This is where I ship everything out, print my labels, you know, do all that. And this is where I make everything. So here you can see, this is a sneak peek of our new line that's coming. In here, in case anyone's wondering, I have stickers that I have made. I've got charms for earrings and necklaces. Okay, so now that I have everything printed, I'm gonna get something to cover up the addresses on here. Now that everything's marked off and highlighted, what I'll do is if there are clothing items in the order, I will take the label right here and I will basically stick them to the side of this desk. And if they don't have clothing in them, I will just grab some envelopes and immediately put them on the envelopes. Okay, so after I'm done, this is what it looks like, which I got everything that needs to be in a big poly mailer is over here and everything that needs to be in a small one is over there. Just, these are my smaller ones, which I use for t-shirts and tote bags, big ones, which these ones are actually really huge because I accidentally ordered a size bigger than I need. Um, and before I continue, I'm going to clean up my office just a little bit because it is embarrassing at how disgusting this place has become. So I'll be back. So here's the clean office, blah, blah, blah. Anyways, next I'm basically going to get everything ready for the packages. So I'm gonna pick out all the clothing off the shelves. So I have to fold these weird to cover the addresses, but basically I will use these as my little pick lists of what I need off the shelf. First one I need is an Astro Crew Neck in a size medium, which is right here. That to the side, get the label put the label with it. And the way my shelving works is that I have smalls on top, then mediums, larges, and then extra large and double XL. That's how it works for the crew necks, but over here is a little different. So next I'm gonna need a small Palm Beach Surf Club crew neck, which these are like my absolute favorite. Right there. Next I need the Pink Hang 10 medium shirt. These are actually discontinued, so I have a few left. This is a medium, yeah. Next, we have a take it easy tote bag, which I have in the corner behind this annoying box. I'd say the tote bags are honestly the product that I use the most out of everything I sell. Uh, put the label with it. I need a blue hang 10 small. These are also discontinued. They were the first t-shirts I ever released to, which is fun. Out with it. Next, I need a wave crew neck and an astro crew neck, both in medium. Just go back here. And the wave crew necks are up here since there's so few left. And you guessed it, they're also discontinued. Okay, so next I, I need an Astro crew neck in large, Miami Beach in extra large, and a vintage logo shirt in large. That's what I need. Let's get one of the vintage logo shirts, which I love these. Miami Beach in extra large. What's this one? The last clothing order is the Miami Beach crew neck in large and the Palm Beach Surf Club in a large one right here and one right here. That wraps up the big and small clothing orders. All right, the final step of prepping towards my packaging is coming over here 
and making sure I get a good little stack of cards, which I include in every order. These are the cards I use, they have a little discount code. Also need a bunch of these, which are what I put my earrings on and my necklaces on. Then I'll grab a bunch of free stickers that I put in every order. And then lastly, I just need these cards, which go in every order. So now to the actual packaging. So this order that I'm about to package has a mini link necklace and an astro kunik in medium, which we'll double check the size. It is a medium. Go put that to the side. And then we'll grab the mini link necklace. This is my go-to necklace for whenever I go out. I absolutely love it. It's completely waterproof and I wear it in the shower like all the time. So what I'll do to the necklace cards, I will either cut or clamp little slits in the corner like that and they don't have to be perfect because this is going to go in the garbage whenever the customer gets it put the necklace just literally right on the card like that and i'll turn it over and with a piece of tape i use this tape from walmart it's literally just tape we'll put a piece of tape on the back just to make sure it doesn't get tangled in shipping once that's done I'll get my little organza bag. So a sticker, a discount card for the future, and then this other card that I add. Close that up. So this order is going to Alexandra, so I'm going to grab their packing slip and their envelope. They're closed right into the bag. Make sure it's tucked in nicely. Just seal it up. Here is how we package our tote bags, which is right here. The way I like to do it, there's no way I can like not fold them in shipping, so I have to fold them somehow. I like folding them up like this and then grabbing the handles and kind of securing them in the middle and then just folding it in half. All the little cards and stickers. And then I will grab the envelope. Here we go. In. So next we have an order for Amy, which has the Wave Crew Neck and the Astro Crew Neck, both in medium. We'll check the sizes on these. Make sure that they're nice. This seems to have a marking on it that came from the manufacturing company. So I, I don't feel comfortable sending her something that is defected, obviously. So I'm gonna go pick out another one of these for her. Um, that is not weird because I, that is not okay. Okay, so I got Amy a much nicer and better conditioned <laughs> crew neck. So I'm gonna refold these because they're a little weird. We need our cards and all that jazz. I used to put all of my crew necks and t-shirts into plastic bags, sort of. That's like the best way I can describe it because I thought it looked a lot more professional but as I've like grown, I've, I've been getting a lot more eco-friendly as I go on. And I realize just how wasteful that is. So if any of you are wondering why I just put the crewnecks right in the bag instead of putting them in like a little plastic sealer or something like that, I just, I really don't want to be wasteful. That is why there is no plastic around any of my items. I'm going to get some of my smaller orders, which are in here. These all just don't have uh, clothing in them. So I'm gonna package a few of these and then I think I'm gonna call it a day. So this order has the Dainty Gem bracelet in smoky blue and the adjustable smiley band. So I'll grab the bracelet, which is this right here. It's absolutely stunning, super dainty and pretty. This smiley ring, which is actually um, coated in sterling. We're gonna grab our cards as usual, our organza bag, and we're just gonna slide all of that in. This is a pretty simple order package, not much to it. This is for Issa. Issa, if you're watching this, you picked out super cute items. On to the next one. So this is an order all the way to Canada for Sonia. She got a couple rings and then the mini Aloha anklet, which is so freaking cute. Here's that. It's so colorful and very, very pretty. She got the pattern band ring, ring, 
hug ring and the smiley band ring. Here are all those. This is the hug one, the pattern band, and the smiley band. I feel like I don't even need to say it at this point, but we'll grab our cards, grab the bag, tuck everything in there, and then put the cards in. Thank you so much, Sonia. All right, so this next order from Maggie, she got the golden link necklace, the gold star choker, and the poppy choker. Here is the golden link choker, which is also fully waterproof. We love that. She got the poppy choker, which is a super pretty dainty necklace. And then she got a Boardwalk Beads classic gold star choker. I will grab three of these plain blue cards to put the necklaces on. Slits in them. And I will just put them each on their own little cards. And then you know the drill. Cards, bag, keys, in the bag. Put it all together and into the envelope. Okay, so I'm only gonna do two more orders because this video is gonna be a little long, I think. I got the gold compass huggies, a mushroom sticker, and the gold moonlight huggies. So let me grab those. The mushroom sticker, which is so adorable. Here are the two charms for the compass huggies, which I have to make. And then I already had the gold moonlight huggies pre-made. So that's that. I'm gonna go make these compass huggies off camera and then I'll be back to package your order. Okay, I'm back. So what I use for my earrings, I use this hole puncher, which I got from Amazon. That is what it is if you wanna go buy it. <laughs> I'll punch these in on my cards, which makes that. So for this order, I'll need both sides punched. Look like that. And put them right in those little holes. And for my earring orders, I will put a piece of bubble wrap if I feel they need it. And I definitely think this one needs it. So I actually reuse bubble wrap from packages wherever I can find them. As you know, my cards, I'm gonna put the sticker in there and then the earrings on top. I will just wrap that in a little bit of bubble wrap. Like this order is going all the way to Canada, so I definitely don't want this to break. All right, on to the last order, which is small but super sweet. This order is for Ava. She ordered a vintage logo keychain in blue, which I will go grab right now. So here are our keychains. They are absolutely stunning and they're like super glittery on the inside, if you can see that. I have one on my keys and I love them. Card, sticker, item. And that is that. Okay, so that is all the packaging I'm going to be doing for today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed watching this video and I hope you guys enjoy watching me package. I know sometimes it can be a little repetitive, but I know you guys love watching it, like I said earlier. So if you like my other content and you want more videos like these, make sure to let me know down below and hit the subscribe button. It is absolutely free. You can unsubscribe whenever you get bored. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed my mini packaging vlog and I will be back very soon. Mm -hmm.